Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a patient who has multiple imaging findings, and one of the findings is related to the subscapularis tendon, and the subscapularis tendon is diffusely thickened, edematous, all the way from the muscular tendinous junction here, all the way to the lesser tuberosity. You can see these associated cystic erosions at the attachment on the lesser tuberosity, so diffuse tendinopathy, kind of hypertrophic tendinopathy. Also, this little fluid here tracking. Now, there's no full thickness tendon gap, no retraction, but just a severe tendinosis. And also, we notice that the core cord process here is relatively close to the humerus. And normally, the distance should be close to 9 millimeters or 10 millimeters. And when it gets narrow, it can cause pinching of the subscapularis tendon between the lesser tuberosity and core cord process. Anything below seven millimeters generally is considered abnormal or definitely six millimeters. So here we go. We're going to measure this and it looks like it is about four, four to six millimeters. I've measured it several, several times and uh, this time it's four millimeters. The last couple times it was closer to five millimeters but definitely less than six millimeters and so this is a case of coracoid impingement. The lesser tuberosity and coracoid process are too close. This is getting impinged and causing a tendinopathy. And that's it. So thank you very much. Hope you have a great day.